Howdy yo, welcome to the Elf Guard Eversong update. Uh, so a bit of a recap. Elf Guard Eversong is the first part of a series of elf related content. Uh, this one covering the Blood Elf storyline in World of Warcraft. So the first 14 chapters of Elf Guard Eversong were done with my collaborator. But from chapter 15, I'll be the only one working on the series. My collaborator has turned his back on Elfgard and left me behind by with footage that I needed for chapter 15. So that's why it's taken me so long to get back to it. To give you a bit of an idea, I'd already done the next bunch of quests. I didn't have the recorded footage, he had that footage. So I had to delete the character and then get back up to the point in the story where I was up to so I could record it all again. Plus I had to redo the intro, redo the outro and make up some stuff as to why his character isn't there. So here it is, a new bit of story explaining why his character is absent. Uh, apologies for making wait this long and I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, keep an eye out for 15 which should be dropping soon. I fell. After the assassination of the Dwarven spy Prospector Anvil Ward, it was revealed that Gwyndor, one of the Blood Elves charged with carrying out the mission, was a traitor. Gwyndor assisted in Anvil Ward's assassination to make the Blood Elves believe he was loyal to Quell Thalas. But after reporting back to Eldon Sunbrand, his comrade Aetherly confronted him, having had suspicions about him for a while. On the steps in Falcon Wing Square, the truth was revealed. Gwyndor's true loyalty lay with the Alliance. Gwyndor is responsible for aiding the Sentinel spies in sabotaging the West Sanctum. He then attempted to flee, but Eldon Sunbrand ordered archers to open fire, and Gwyndor was shot down his back and head pierced by no less than 20 Cinderai arrows. Aethelie looked down at the body of someone she had trusted for many months and uttered a single phrase, Shirelaran, 